Hi guys and girls on YouTube, just a really quick video here to show you something interesting. Um, I've just recently repaired a hi-fi amplifier for somebody and um, it was intermittently overheating and cutting out. Um, now I trace the fault down to the bias pot that sets the standing current in the output stage. Um, I've just sold three bits of wire on it um, so we can take some measurements. And um, So you're thinking to yourself, well, what can go wrong with a pot? Um, well, this is a 100 ohm, 100 ohm preset, so if we measure end to end, um, we've actually got a reading of 111.5, which is slightly out of spec, um, and that reading keeps changing on its own. Um, the first time I measured it was 116 ohms um, from end to end. Uh, now, if we take a measurement from here to here, um let's see let's just move this over there so just assuming that the wiper was set to the middle um if this is a 100 ohm pot you'd have 50 ohms between there and 50 ohms between there so let's just take a measurement and write it down Um, right, so that's the end to end, um, that should be 100 and it's just reading over. Now let's take this off here and put it onto the middle. And straight away we've got a reading of 132 ohms. So let's write that down. And then we'll transfer this to the other side. And on that side we have a reading of 83 ohms. Right, so if you look at the diagram I've drawn up now. Um, 116 ohms end to end. From the wiper to that end is 132 ohms. And from the wiper to that end is 83 ohms so if you add them two together um, we're actually measuring 215 ohms um, from this faulty part so obviously the wiper in the middle has some sort of oxidized contact um, which is causing a resistance between there and there and uh, and that was a fault on it so, um, yeah, a very unusual fault. You don't usually expect to see uh, little presets uh, like that go faulty. But all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.